The process of additive layer manufacturing starts with a computer-generated three-dimensional model. The model is then converted into a triangulated surface mesh, which we call an STL file. STL is now the de facto standard used by all additive layer manufacturing systems. After inputting the STL file, some additive layer manufacturing systems will automatically generate structures to support overhanging parts of the geometry. The amount of support structure will depend on both the geometry of the part and the orientation of the part. In addition to the amount of support structure needed, part orientation will also affect the surface roughness of the part and the time it takes to build that part in the additive layer manufacturing system. Once the part's been orientated and the support structure has been generated, the resulting three-dimensional geometry is then sliced electronically into two-dimensional layers, each 2D layer representing the profile of a physical layer which will be made using the additive layer manufacturing system. Once all the layers have been sliced, they're then stored as slice files on the additive layer manufacturing system waiting to be used. On completion, the slice files are then sent to the additive layer manufacturing system one by one, where they're reconstructed from the bottom up into a solid three-dimensional part. This process could be done using laser sintering, selective laser melting, sterile lithography, 3D printing, fused deposition modelling, or a whole range of different additive layer manufacturing technologies.